the Easy 3D X1. This 3D printer I have for some time and I'm using all the time Cura for slicing my models to use on my Easy 3D X1. But how about Prusa Slicer, Idea Maker or Matter Control? Or maybe some other slicers. How to add this 3D printer to those kind of slicers? Getting some nice basic slicer settings and get some prints out of the Easy 3D X1. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. For the Easy 3D X1, Cura is by far most my favorite slicer to use. And I got some decent prints out of my Easy 3D X1 by using Cura. I got some nice slicer settings that I always use when printing on my Easy 3D X1. But how about Prusa Slicer? How can I set up the Easy 3D X1 on Prusa Slicer or on Idea Maker or on Meta Control? By the way, if you don't use those kind of slicers, then similar steps you can also take on different other slicer softwares. Well, in this video, I just covered those four main slicer softwares. And I'm going to add a 3D printer and then going to take the settings that I use for Cura, I'm going to try to copy it into the other slicers as well. As a matter of fact, I do have some really nice prints from Cura. So let's get into the first slicer and do some basic settings. First we take Ultimaker Cura and we set it on Easy 3D X1. And then we are going to add a calibration cube. In printing time, this is the fastest to do and you also don't uh, spend too much filament on this kind of thing. This, this purpose is only to make sure that when you are going to dial in your 3D printer in different kind of slicers, then something like a calibration cube is most ideal to do that. If you are going more into Idea Maker or uh, Meta Control, you can use uh, the settings, but take other models uh, if you want to dial in even more. And so in this case, I will take the calibration cube and I go through all the settings. In this case, I have 0.1 layer height. All the other settings I will leave uh, as they are because I don't have to change that much to it. Uh, based upon my PLA filament that I use, the most ideal printing temperature is 200 degrees. The printing speed, uh, you can take a printing speed of 30, 40 or 50 millimeters per second, but I think that 30 or 40 are the most ideal settings for this uh, Easy 3D X1 3D printer. Travel speeds, I will leave them as they are. For the calibration cube, of course, you don't need any supports. And I take a brim because we are printing on a non-heated bed. So we press on slice and we get in one hour and six minutes. If you're going to uh, change your layer height to 0.2 millimeters, then your printing time is around the 34 minutes. So we can do that as well, but I leave it as it is here. And this is going to be the end result if I click on preview save to removable drive once that is done you press eject and then you put the SD card into your easy 3d x1 3d printer and then you are going to start your prints
we are going to Prusa Slicer. In Pr Prusa Slicer, you add a new 3D printer by clicking on configuration, configuration assistant. There you have different kind of 3D printers, of course, from Prusa itself, but also other suppliers or other brands. Well, you see that in different kind of suppliers, we got different known profiles. Well, here we select the custom printer. In the custom printer, you select define the custom printer profile and you say uh, you write there easy 3d x1 then we click on next it's a marlin based 3d printer we click on next well we have a square and the base is 100 times 100 and the zero point is at this part well as you can see it's still re rectangular so we need to tap one more time again and now we have a square texture we can add some texture but it doesn't have to be like that we leave it as it is right now we click on next and the nozzle diameter is just like every other one is 0.4 and the filament diameter is 1.75 millimeters we click on next well extrusion temperature I, I'm going to use the same filament as the one that I use in the Cura slicer software. So the temperature is 200 degrees. And well, because our 3D printer, the Easy 3D X1, doesn't have any heat bed, we leave the temperature here at zero. We click on next. Then you can make a profile selection for the filament you are want to use for this 3d printer well i have selected everything but as you can see there are some other filaments that you can also select but i don't think it's really necessary but if you do want to do that please feel free to select the ones that you want so we click on next and then we click another time on next this is asking for automatic updates but yeah it's already selected so that's not needed and also next we can uh, use different kind of view modes the simple the advanced and the expert mode i'm leaving it on the advanced mode we click on select and now this is our building volume then you are going to select printer settings view we are going to add the calibration cube so this is the calibration cube. Well, if I don't do anything, I'm just going to slice it as it is. And this is how it looks like. If you want to change the layer height in Prusa Slicer, we can do it on, in two ways. You can click here and, you know, go to layers and parameters. You can click it on here. You can select that one as well, or you can go to print settings and change it right here so to keep it simple we click on there and here and we take the layers and parameters it's set on 0.3 as a standard value but in this case I change it to 0.2 millimeters so we do slice now I choose for brim because we have that also in Cura slicer and we press slice now in the meantime I explain why we use a brim because our bed is not heated it's better to use a brim making sure that the model will stick until the print is finished and then we press on export G code file on the side you can see that you can export it to SD card or USB stick well we press on that one I call my card easy treat there is one thing that you should know because the latest change file that is the file the easy 3d x1 is going to print so I'm going to add P E in front of it so that I know that it is Prusa slicer and save so here we can press on eject card so and now I can press OK and I can take the SD card out. Oh, 
we are going to add the Easy 3D X1 to our Idea Maker Slicer program. When we open Idea Maker, you get this welcome screen. We close it and then we are going to Printer and we take Configuration Wizard. Um, I already have one, but I'm going for this tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can add one. So other printer, printer type, easy 3D X1. The nozzle diameter is 0.4. The building width 100, the depth 100, and the building height is also 100. Use heat bed, well, for the easy 3D X1 we don't have, so that we click off. Distance from water to build plate, 2.5 millimeters. So that is the area around your build plate. Your build plate is shaped all right, like a rectangle, that origin at center. No, we leave it at the 0.0. .0. And the firmware is Marlin. Extrude account, it's just one. We, we use primary extruder PLA 1.75 millimeters and a primary extruder we don't need to fill that in this one i don't think that 310 is the maximum we put it on 250 degrees we go to general we press ok so easy treat x1 continue extrude account one use heat bed not selected continue the filament you have different kind of one that you can select here but in this case we leave it on PLA 1.75 millimeters and we click on finish and this is our build plate volume so we are going to add like I mentioned in an earlier video about idea maker you have different kind of things you can do you can pan you can move you can rotate you can scale free cut support modifier max fit duplicate repair you have different kind of things you can do so we click on start slicing this is at this moment empty so you need to make one we click on create template easy thread x1 and we call it pla so here it says copy template from I take the ANET because it's already existing. So I say OK. Now, infill density 20%, shells 2.5, platform we use brim only, not skirt, brim. And support, well, we put that on none and we press OK. For this Easy 3D X1, we now have created a template and based upon the ANET ET4. Now we have different selections for the Easy 3D X1. If you want to make changes, that is also possible. You click on Edit, and then you have for layer, extruder, infill, solid fill, support, platform, cooling, temperature, speed, advance, boost, other, and G code. So you got different kind of things you can change within idea maker and this is one of the great things from idea maker when you are using this slicing software you have a whole bunch of tools you can use to start slicing models here layer height is two further anything i'm not going to change but like mentioned at the beginning we are just going to add our 3d printer to the slicer start with just a normal standard slicer profile slice it print it and then we are going to look how uh, the printer is going to take the sliced model when the print doesn't look okay you go back into the slicer and you're going to make some little adjustments until you have the most satisfied model until you are happy with the result so now we are going to put the SD card in, export to local disk, save, well, reveal and finder. So as you can see, it consists out of two, two files, one data file and one G-code file. The other one I will take away because as you know, the Easy 3 d X1 is only taking one file and it's the last changed file. 
So we eject it and we are going to start the print. So after testing, I noticed that my settings from Idea Maker weren't that ideal. So I went back into Slicing, selected the profile, edit, and I went to the speed and I changed the speed a bit slower. So all these settings I have changed and I did another test print and the results looked much better instead of shifted layers. So now we are going to Meta Control and add our Easy 3D X1 3D printer. To do that, we click on Plus, Create Printer. We are going to Other Easy 3X1. Next. Now here it's it's going to give you a setup wizard, but since we have the printer not connected with our meta control or with our laptop or computer we cannot do that if you would like to do that then you can do that but in this case i'm going to click on skip connection so as you can see we have a 200 by 200 build plate surface and that we need to change to do that we are going to go to the right side and we select printer there we are going to bad size and we enter 100 times 100. The build height is also 100. Nozzle diameter, don't forget to change it in 0.4 millimeter. And the nozzle is at 0, 0, 0 in all axes. The bed shape is rectangular and also here some part for your standard G code G code start code and a and G code. So here we are going to select general and now we are going to import a model. To do that, we are going to open file, calibration cube. Now we are going to slice that. If you are going to slice it in meta control, you are going to go to slice settings. We are going to do it like that. Layer thickness is 0.2 like all the other ones. First layer thickness, infill type is triangles, layer surface, speed. This one is very important. For the infill, we use 40, top infill 30, 40, 40, bridge travel, travel we do at 50, something like that. Adhesion, we are going to use brim, no skirt, and also supports. We don't use any support at this moment. So, and then when you're going to slice, you click here on slice and then it is going to slice. Of course, you don't see anything or not much, but that is because this, in this case, the slider is all the way down. And then we are going to do a save or save as or print export and then select your SD card and put it there on the SD card and then you press export. So as you can see, you have different kind of slice of software where you can add your easy 3D X1 to as a normal 3D printer. You have to take keep in mind to adjust your building volume, the 100 by 100 by 100 millimeters, and also that you are not using a heat bed also a 0.4 nozzle and also 1.75 millimeter filament diameter. And this 3D printer runs at best at a 30 or 40 millimeters per second as printing speed. Sometimes it's very difficult to get everything nice. And for that reason, I use in all of the four slices, I use the calibration cube as a very small print easy and fast to print but you can also do some bigger prints but for this tutorial i used a calibration cube to see how the lines are how the brim is going to print how the printer is going to react to my adjustments and because this is a print of 30 minutes it's very quickly 
and you can always see how it is going to work like or how it is going to look like. Well, all of the four slices are working quite well and I got some decent results. If for some reason you don't get a nice result out of it in the specific slicing software that you are using, look which kind of setting you have to change. There can be se several things you have to adjust. Maybe the print speed, maybe the layer height, the temperature of your filament, because the filament I'm using is not the same filament you are using. So there can be a lot of things you can change. So in some ways, I do like to have my 3D printer attached to my computer. And if not, then you have to swap your SD card over and over and over again. No problem, but keep on trying until you got some decent result out of your Easy 3D X1 in your favorite slicer software. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your amazing support. You can also join by supporting this channel to get more and better content out of. The link I will put in the description of this video. Thank you for your support. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, you can also check out the merch store from Zachary 3D Prints. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.